Phase detection is an early stage of a phase recognition pipeline. Many state-of-the-art phase detectors are wrapped within the phase framework and today we are going to mention all of those phase detectors and their impact on phase recognition pipeline. Deep phase interface has a custom detect phase function and it expects exact image path as input and let's set image path in a custom variable my images are stored in deep phase slash test slash dataset and for example image 1.jpg here you can set detector backend optionally in the detect phase function its default value is opencv and detector candidates are open save a hard cascade single shot multi box detector or shortly ssd dlib hog or empty sienna here we are going to build a for loop for detector in detectors and let's print the detector name first and pass this custom detector to do detector backend argument in the detect phase function and the result of the detect phase function is going to be my custom image let's print the detected phase but i need to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt to show images here, here i'm going to call plt dot in show command and pass this image as input and also plt dot show command should be called besides processing time of each detector is different that's why i'm going to import time library and here get the current date time time dot time after the detect phase function calling i'm going to store the current date time as well time dot time here i'm going to print the processing time which is talk minus tick seconds and this processing time belongs to this custom detector let's print a marker here for example open civil hard cascade backend detects face detects face just like that and it it's completed in 0 0.88 seconds and as a result of the SSD and SDN it's faster than the open CV and these are the results of DLIP and MTCNN. Uh, these are much slower than the OpenCV and SSD, but uh, I will mention it. Uh, these backends are more robust. Here we have applied face detection manually. Instead of this, we can apply face recognition and pass detector backend as argument. I need an image pair to apply face recognition that's why i'm going to change image path to image one path and the second image will be image two dot jpeg here here i'm going to call deep face dot verify and it expects a image pair that's why i'm going to pass image one path and image two path here and pass detector backend as detector it comes from the this for loop store the result of the verification function in the object object and here uh, this is going to be image one and similarly i will apply face detection for the image two path we also need to show the image one and image two here and finally 
let's print the result of the verification function here verification function is over and uh, it returns true in the verified case this means that this image pair is same person based on the OpenCV face detector backend actually all detectors return true in other words we classify those image pairs as same person however we can verify image pairs as same person based on the distance value for example this distance value is less than this threshold value in other words the less distance value the better it is let's look at the font distance values based on the different face detector backends 0.25 for mtcnn that's close to mtcnn in the dlib backend but uh, ssd and OpenCV hard cascade is greater than the uh, results of the mtcnn and dlib this means that uh, the both mtcnn and uh, dlib are more robust than OpenCV hard cascade and ssd even though they are slower than the uh, legacy OpenCV hard cascade or ssd so we have mentioned how to apply different face detector backends OpenCV and ssd are faster than uh, the dlib and mtcnn but dlib and mtcnn are more robust than OpenCV and ssd if your priority is the accuracy then i recommend you to use mtcnn or dlib otherwise if your priority is the speed then i recommend you to uh, use OpenCV or ssd thank you all for watching and see you next time